Hi, I'm Dr. James Johnson, Medical Director of the Orange Coast Laser Vision Center. I would like to introduce you to a series of patient interviews with people who have suffered vitreous floaters like yourself. Vitreous floaters originate in the eye. They are seen as clouds, shadows, threads, clumps, things that move around in their vision. They're very hard to ignore. These patients, probably like yourself, have had one or two or more eye examinations over the years and have been told that maybe the floaters will go away on their own, probably you'll just have to learn to live with them. These patients have rejected that notion and have actively sought out an alternative solution and they have found the Orange Coast Laser Vision Center where we use an FDA approved laser to reduce or eliminate these floaters. These interviews I think are important because they give you the patient's perspective. These are not slick interviews uh, or infomercials, these are just casual unscripted conversations and I think they will give you the patient's perspective uh, and help set expectations for treatment. I hope you enjoy them. Okay, well I first started developing my floaters about maybe four years ago. I started realizing that I started getting them after I got my LASIK surgery. And uh, first of all, I just seen little things flying around everywhere. I didn't really put too much attention to them. But as I started driving, you know, taking notes down at school, doing daily activities, playing basketball, swimming, and playing sports, and so forth, I just started noticing them going back and forth, you know, really getting in my way, getting in the, my vision. And uh, I mean, it was discomforting, really bothersome. I went to a couple of optometrists and them, they were telling me that, uh, that there's nothing you can do about it, that you just have to live with them and uh, just let them, let them just be with you and uh, over time you'll get used to them and you won't mind them afterwards. But I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I just do too much stuff for them to just go away and I just didn't want to live like that. So I started looking for some information on the internet and you know, just asking different people what I could do about it and eventually I found you, Dr. Johnson. And uh, today I'm, I came in for my fourth treatment, and I mean, it's not, we're not complete yet, we're not done yet, but uh, the more that I come, the more that I see you, and the more that you help me, it's getting way better, the treatment is just, over time, it just, it's helping me a lot. I mean, my vision is getting a little bit better, the floaters are just going away little by little, and uh, I mean, my, it's coming along, it's coming along, it's okay. really helping. Uh, well, it's, um, the treatment is really simple, you come in, you get your eyes dilated, you, you look at them as always, as usual. And uh, you start going in with this with the laser, and you I mean you start looking at everything. And uh, the lens that you put on my eye, it's kind of discomforting a little bit. It it's, it gets you. I mean, it, it it's there. You can feel it. But I mean, just the, the laser itself, it's it's really simple. It just it's it's just an easy procedure. Okay, so I'm gonna put the uh, contact lens on. The eye is numb, so you shouldn't feel any of this. It just pops right on there like so. You gotta just look straight at that little light there. So I hold this contact lens in place. So it looks pretty clean in here. I'm just looking for some of the residual small pieces that have been bothering him. Something. Sometimes the, the small little strands can still be quite bothersome, even though to my eye they're very, very small, almost microscopic. The alignment, the lighting has to be just so, but the eye is held very still by the contact lens. Oh, there we go, that's what we want right there. During, during the procedure, maybe like a five afterwards, like a three. A okay, three, yeah. so and by the, next, by the next morning? Oh, it's, it's zero already. Zero. Okay. And, and the vision by the next morning? Oh, it's perfect. It's okay. perfect, yeah. Okay. So you're back to your baseline, I guess, yeah, is what I'm trying to get at. So yeah. well, we're, we're really talking maybe uh, a few or several hours of, of some mild or moderate discomfort, yeah. uh, but it goes away very, very quickly. So it's not a lingering discomfort, I think. Mm -hmm. Right now, about 60, 65 percent. But then okay. again, we're not finished yet. So okay, that's right. And we are uh, we're getting ready to go back and do a little, little, little touch up. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's a lot better than when we first started. Though. That's that's for sure. I mean, if I first started seeing things everywhere. Now, just little tiny ones, little touch ups help. So good. It's, it's getting there. Now, people who are watching this video are probably doing their research. They're they're um, they have the floaters. They suffer the floaters. And like yourself, they probably have been told a couple times uh, by their their trusted eye doctors that uh, first of all that that nothing can be done about it. Mm -hmm. Or if they've done a little bit of research on their own, 
uh, and have mentioned it to their eye doctors, the, the doctors may uh, either be surprised that the procedure even exists or will advise them not to have it done. So uh, what words of advice or reassurance or, or warning or anything would you, would you um, want to tell these people who are l doing their research right now investigating the possibility of using the laser to get the floaters? Yeah, well, the sad part about, you know, eye floaters, there's not much research done on it. And so you can pretty much got to look into it yourself. And hopefully, I mean, if they're really, really big, you really got to do something about it because it's very bothersome. I had the same problem, too. I mean, I mean, they're not they're not small sometimes. They're just everywhere and big and just get in the way. And so, I mean, if you come see, you know, the doctor like you and uh, maybe he could you could help you could help them, too, just depending on the, you know, their eyes, too. Everybody's different. Every client and patient is a little bit different. Everybody's eyes are just totally you know, just something to work out. And so with the expectations given, I mean, everybody just has to just look into it and decide if, I mean, if, it's, if this treatment is, is for them or not.